just got out of the shower. I am just finishing my skincare routine. This is what I'm using on my face. It's the Luminance Deep Hydration. I usually use their Tamarin facial moisturizer, but I'm out, so I'm just waiting for a restock. We went to the beach yesterday, so I feel like my skin's just like wanting all the moisture. My Beauty Nut Skincare Lip Butter, which is like kind of full of sand from yesterday. Natural lip scrub, you know. I'm gonna slather on my deodorant. This is a all natural, non-toxic deodorant. It's in the scent bergamot lime, which is one of my favorites. And it goes on like, like a buttery matte lotion. I feel like I describe it different every time, but it's like not oily, it's not greasy, but it like dries really quick. We are probably going for a morning walk today. I don't know what we have planned for the day. By the way, have I, good morning. <laughs> I'm filming, I think, a day in the life because I don't know what we're doing today. So that's an easier description. I'm enjoying the short hair. It's really easy to brush out now, wash, style. Matt just finished feeding Sage breakfast. She's probably complaining because she wants out of the high chair. But I think we're going to go to the farmer's market because they've had the best produce there, like the peaches, the cucumbers, the tomatoes. Actually, I don't need tomatoes. We have so many in the garden, our garden. The, I'm probably gonna like pick up a pie or something from the pie lady, some goat cheese. Like I've just been enjoying the market lately. If you guys watched my last what I eat in the weekend, on the weekend video, I'll link that here. I shared a bunch of stuff I got from the farmer's market and just like a bunch of stuff that we ate throughout the weekend. I'm just gonna, finish doing this and finish getting ready so we can go for a walk all right i just blow dried the front of my hair and we're gonna head out this girl just crawls everywhere <laughs> I don't think the bow is gonna last long. No, you don't want you don't want to have the matching bow. Okay, this is her fit. Little white tank top and purple shorts. Look, we're matching with our shirts. Boo, 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 boo. She is like nonstop. Go, 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 go. He's daddy. No, she don't want it. Okay, bows are just for photos, not real life. Okay, we're gonna go for a walk. Are you saying hi to Cashew? <laughs> nice, she loves Cashew. This is really hard to balance. All right, I'm gonna have a quick banana. So I thought I was gonna make a smoothie before we left, but that's not happening, so. Banana it is. Okay, gotta go. It's probably the coolest this morning that it's been in weeks. It's really nice. We had a blanket for Sage, but she picked it off. finished nursing Sage and putting her to bed and I'm gonna unpack everything and get it into the fridge. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are actually some sauces and a, I think a clam chowder. My friend Matt from Fidel Gastro's gave, my sister was like filming with him yesterday and he sent her home with like a bunch of stuff. So I got a ginger soy 
marinade Dijon dill and a clam chowder. So I'm definitely putting that aside. I'll be marinating something yummy this weekend, I'm sure. I got some strawberries, some peaches. Oh, these smell so good. I'm obsessed with this like peach season that's going on right now. It's awesome. So we've just been living off peaches. I got from the Polish bread guy. I think he's Polish. Matt wanted pretzels. I got everything bagels. And he also had made from a Polish grandma, I think he said, authentic. These are onion and potato progies. And I have some sauerkraut that we can have on the side with that. And then from the cheese lady, I got some jalapeno uh, sheep milk cheese. Some of that. And then I got the sheep feta stuffed olives again. I'm actually gonna have one of these right now. Like, look at these. Mm. I love olives. It's the Portuguese in me. Mm, mm, mm. From the pie lady, I got the cookies and one of her blueberry pies. She never has them because either she doesn't make them or they're sold out really quick. And blueberry is my favorite kind of pie. So I'm definitely going to be having a slice or two this weekend. People always wonder, like, do, do you eat like junk food and stuff? I have a sweet tooth, so I definitely have sweets. I just try to get better, like quality treats. And like, yes, this has sugar in it and it is dessert. And like, that's totally fine. Like I eat dessert all the time. I just would rather eat like a homemade pie like this instead of just like a pre-made one at the grocery store. That's not even that good. So this is like my kind of dessert. Also, I really liked they had biodegradable plastic bags, which are made out of like, I think cornstarch or plant starch. Cause I wasn't gonna take any plastic bags cause I've been trying to be really good at bringing reusable ones, but they're biodegradable. So I'll just stick them in, in the compost after. And okay, so I got these beautiful mushrooms. Whoop, they're gorgeous. I got these last time and I made like a chicken and rice mushroom dish in the Instant Pot. And it was really yummy. Also, Sage has not had mushrooms yet, so maybe I'll give her some of those. I got more of their potatoes. I also got some celeric root. I think I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes for her and, and for us, but I'll make it for her without salt. I got some red leafy lettuce in here. Look at this beautiful lettuce. I got these golden beets that look so pretty in a celeric root which kind of tastes like celery. It must be in the same family because I don't think it's the actual root of celery. But I'm gonna add this to the mashed potatoes and I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but maybe just like steam them or roast them or something. These are gonna be for sage too, for a new, like a new food to try. And then lastly, I got some corn because it is also corn season and it's just so good on the barbecue. So we can do some corn, some meat, maybe use one of these marinades. Uh, that my friend Matt sent me and yeah I don't know we don't have too much planned today so maybe we'll we can even do a barbecue today I'm gonna toast up one of the bagels Matt's cooking up turkey bacon in the oven and I think I'm just gonna have breakfast outside while say just napping and just enjoy the fresh air because it's so nice outside it's like that nice like spring cool breeze morning with like some sunshine. I don't know, it's just like the ideal outdoor weather. So I got the bagel, cream cheese, tomatoes with everything but the bagel seasoning, turkey bacon, and then some chopped up peaches and strawberries from the market. I'm gonna go take this outside and enjoy it. I totally forgot I had fresh basil in the garden. I'm gonna add that on top. Mm, now it's complete. Fun fact about Matt, he is a pretzel maniac. I love pretzels. Oh, that's good. You're spit dried on your face. I gotta wash that. <laughs> Look who's awake! Oh. Do you got poopy or no? Oh, there's poop. Uh. Is that poopy? I didn't even smell it. Okay, back in. Say bye, Daddy. Bye, poopy. 
All right, we are changed, refreshed. See, it just has her elephant. Yeah, what's that? It's an elefante. What's your name? <laughs> Do you want a popsicle? Sage has her popsicle. Is that good? Mm. You showing? Oh, you sharing? drying rack the other day which I love it's been really great since I hang up a lot of my clothes and now they are dried now to do the worst part which is fold them Matt's doing dishes what would you say your least favorite chore is cleaning up after you <laughs> okay but besides that I don't mind. I don't mind vacuuming and things like that. Do you? Would you rather do dishes or laundry? Laundry, I guess. It's easier. You just put it in the machine, and walk away. No, everyone says that. No, it's the putting away part that's the worst. It doesn't take too long because I hang most of my stuff, so I just grab yeah, the hangers. What do you and... do when you can't find hangers? Well, there's always hangers. No. Normally. I can never find hangers. The solution is buy less clothes, and then you got more hangers. <laughs> Neglected child over here playing, <laughs> playing underneath the table. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna link this down below. I freaking love it. I got it from Canadian Tire, but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or something. I don't know the brand but I'll find it and I love it. It's very compact since it's a vertical one so it doesn't take up a ton of like square footage in your house. The only part is when you close it, it kind of shuts down really fast so I'm a little scared. Let's see, it just like closes on you. Okay, but it folds right up. Look at that. I'm very happy with this purchase. My cousin Caitlin, has had hers. She has a YouTube channel, Caitlin's Corner. She's had hers for years. And I've been wanting a new one for a while because we have one downstairs. It's like attached to the wall, but it's just not enough. And now, adult things, you know? Sagey, back on your mat. <laughs> back on your mat. Cashew, can you babysit? Can you watch your sister for a second? I'm gonna go put this away. this unboxing I have been wanting one of these for so long it is a Berkey filter I think this was just a free like a freebie a little travel mug they gave me oh this is crooked <laughs> see are you gonna help mommy this is for the whole family okay so this is basically a like the ultimate water filter it actually says the word ultimate on the side mat. Berkey, the ultimate in water purification. Wow. Uh, so this is the Royal one. It is for 3.25 gallons of water. On their website, you can actually do a little like survey to see which size is best for like you and your family. So I purchased this with my own money. I just wanted to unbox it because I'm very excited and share with you guys what it is. I found mine on like a random website. It was like 72 hours or something. It's like a survival like 
website. I don't know, they sell a bunch of like survival guide stuff. It was legit. I was like, this is like a spam website, but it was legit and it arrived really fast. And I feel like it's been sold out forever. Everybody wants clean water. And it uses, I think, like charcoal filters. It basically cleans everything out of your water, except like minerals and like beneficial stuff. They, okay, you play with that one. Whoa. Okay, how do we use this? Wait, oh no, 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 Sage, come here, look, look. Come here, Sage, what's this? What's this? here too it's a whole family event now that you have bought your Berkey uh, purifier you have taken the first step towards protecting you and your family from disease causing viruses pathogens parasites harmful <coughs> harmful chemicals heavy metals and other waterborne <coughs> contaminants okay that's that part this goes on top of here We have the lid. Okay, that's the spout. So these are the charcoal filters and I believe they last like up to seven years or something. You just have to clean them every so often. Don't quote me on that, but they're pretty intense looking. You can buy like more than two. I think there's spots for four and it just means like your water will run, like filter out faster. So I might end up buying two more. We'll, we'll see how two goes. And then obviously if you buy two more, like if you have four, it, they'll last longer. I just took a break to cook up some lunch for Sage. She has some scrambled eggs and some chopped up strawberries from the farmer's market. You gonna have lunch? Dad! Dad! from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm continuing with my Berkey water filter education almost series. It's on, then the gasket. This just creates a nice seal against the Berkey so you don't have any leakage. Then following the plastic spigot, same concept. To take the wing nut, just turn it up. You don't want to turn this to it up, but not all right, I think I figured it out. The instructions are not very intuitive. I would definitely recommend YouTubing how to set it up. The visual instructions was a lot more helpful to me. So I think I have it figured out. I just filled it up. I'm gonna put the lid on. Well, I'm just giving everything a little, little wipe down. I'm so excited for this filter. Like the water, I've had the water before. It tastes so clean and crisp and it just is one of the best filters for like taking out all the nasty stuff from your water. I'm gonna leave it on the kitchen counter for now. The video I was watching says to run it about two times just to get rid of any like sediment or anything from the filters and that way it'll taste like really, really clean. And then afterwards I'm gonna have to probably pick like a permanent spot for it. You can buy stands for it or just have it on a counter depending on your kitchen layout. So I will report back. All right, and this is what it looks like. I have it all set up. I just put it on this buffet table. It's like close to the kitchen, but out of the way, but still easy to access. And it's been filtering pretty quick. And then when you need water, you just come over here, fill up your cup. And I also use this for like, if I'm cooking rice or putting water in my smoothie, I'll just come here and fill it up. But we have officially super clean, yummy tasting water. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys where it is. Loving it so far. And uh, I'll link the exact one that we have down below. All right, we are going to grandma's to go use their pool for the afternoon. And Sage is not happy about it. Yeah, she's been teething a lot, so you'll love the pool. Okay, so we're gonna go take a little break. We'll probably be back for her next nap and then figure out what we're doing for dinner. But I'm happy I got the Berkey set up. That was on my list and I totally forgot about it today. 
And then I was like, oh, I have something to do. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go walk over. This girl acts like she doesn't wanna come and I have to convince her. Come on, we're buying Gigi's. You wanna be left behind? Let's go. <laughs> See, this is the smaller drawing rack we have downstairs. It just kind of retracts from the wall. It's great, but it's just not big enough for like a full load. Some bumblebee. Drowning it. It's dead. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, it's dead. Cold, Chloe. Any more beds? Ooh. It's cold. Probably doesn't have a meeting ice cream. I can't be greedy. Hi, Sage. <laughs> she looks over it already. She wants the boobs. Hard having them out with a breastfeeding baby. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't expect it to go that quick. Um, um, All right, it's just us now. Matt put Sage down for her nap, and he's just downstairs taking a shower, washing all the sunscreen off. I honestly like. I don't know. Is this just me? But when I'm in the pool and stuff, I'm not necessarily necessarily like, I gotta go shower when I get home. Like I'm fine just like lounging with salty skin. Yeah, that, that was a salt water pool, by the way. Like I'll probably have a shower like tonight or something. I'm just not like a midday shower person unless like I'm sticky or I have sand like in every corner of my body. Anyways, I thought I would just chat just had some stuff on my mind and I don't know if I'm alone in this and I thought I would just like talk about it here. Ugh. As a like major extrovert, I feel like I've just been struggling lately with, I know everyone's like been home for a long time and like, you know, some people are just kind of living life as normal and stuff, you know, depending on where you live. But like, I realized the last like couple weeks how much I've been missing like social events, like just, and I don't mean like going to see couple friends or something but just like an event like a social gathering that is more than like four people and I'm just realizing how much of an extrovert I really am like I feel like with all of this being at home more I had to teach myself to be a like a homebody I never have been someone that could be at home for like a long period of time it would actually stress me out and cause me anxiety and I think that was like the hardest thing for me in the beginning was just being at home. And I know some people could be like at home forever. They like find projects and things to do. I'm someone that like, I just have to leave my house. So, you know, we, we walk every single day, sometimes twice a day, morning and night. Like, and that has been something that's really helped me just create some kind of routine around being home all the time. And, you know, before all of this, I've always worked from home, not always, like I've worked from, from home for a while. And so, you know, events and parties and social things was like my, like the breakup from being home all the time. Like as soon as Matt would get home from work, I was like, let's go out and do something because I've been home all day. So then when it's like you're home all day for work and then you're just home all day because there's nothing, either nothing to do or like just you can't just do big gatherings or a lot of people like you know still don't feel comfortable and and like even when i'm scrolling through instagram it's so hard i get this every like end of summer regardless of the last couple years but i get this like fomo of everyone at the cottage like we want a cottage so bad but like it just hasn't like worked out for us yet and it's just, I get this like major FOMO. I just want to live the cottage life, you know? Oh, I just love the water. And like, we were at the beach yesterday and I love it, but like, I just, and we were at the pool today, you know? I'm not saying like, oh, I'm like having the worst summer. It's just like, I feel like it's really affecting me, the whole like, just no like social things. Besides like, like I said, here and there seeing friends. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this, the point of this was, just to, if you're feeling the same way, just wanted to be like, I feel you because it's just hard. And like, honestly, with Sage's like first birthday coming around the corner, like she's going to be 10 months in like a week and a bit. And I like cry. <laughs> okay, obviously, I feel like I'm still like emotional, like hormonally wise because of breastfeeding and also just being a mom. I feel like you just I feel like once you birth a child, you are forever like 
sensitive and easy to cry over everything. From what I hear, I feel like other moms afterwards are just like, I'm so sensitive. Like I cry over everything. I can't watch certain things on TV. Like it's, it's true. I just feel like it's been dawning on me that I'm not going to be, have this like first birthday party that I wanted to have for Sage. And if she had like a summer party, I feel like I could. It's just a lot of people still don't feel comfortable. Like you know, seeing family and friends and whatnot. And like, I totally respect that. Like, that's not why I'm sad, but it's just like, it just sucks. Cause there's been so many things about being a new parent through all of this that like has just been really different and harder to navigate. Cause like you have these ex expectations and then there's just been so many things that have been like taken away or just haven't been what I thought they would be. And I am so like, this is not to say I am not grateful for like, you know, we're all healthy. Sage is a beautiful girl. Like we are so lucky to have her. And like, these are just like materialistic things, but I just miss like people. Anyway, Sage is sleeping. I'm just like on Instagram. This is why social media isn't good sometimes when you're like having a sad day and you like on Instagram, you feel like everyone's like so happy having a good day. And like, I did have a good day. My emotions are just up and down. One minute I'm like loving life, I'm feeling good. I'm like, put the news behind you. And the next minute it just like swallows me up and I feel so heavy and upset and sad. Create our own happiness. This is what I have to remind myself all the time. We need to just create our own happiness, focus on ourselves and our bubble and you know, do things that make us happy. This is what happens when I have nowhere to go. I just like, this is like a, a therapy talking session with you guys. I'm gonna have a snack, I'm hungry. Have a snack and figure out what we're gonna have for dinner. I probably have to take out some meat. I'm gonna go plan that out. I feel like if we have a nice barbecue, we eat dinner outside, that will make me feel better. Food and sunshine and my family. It's always a good combo. <laughs> All right, turn of events. It just started thundering so loudly and the power went off and on, which means the sound machine is off in Sage's room. Oh, it's pouring. Yeah, I don't know about this barbecue situation. I think Matt's outside bringing in the cushions. I'll show you guys the rain. It's so dark in here now. It's 4.30 and it's this dark. The garden's getting watered. God. Get a little towel. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you... Leave Cashew alone. What are you doing? This video is very cute, by the way. What's it called? Mitchell's and the Robots? Mitchell's versus the Machines. Hey, bye. Bye. <laughs> Sage is just having bath time with daddy. Oh yeah, you got bubbles in your hand. What is that craziness? So it was quite the thunderstorm. So I don't think we're gonna barbecue tonight, which is fine because I'm kind of tired anyways. I think I'm just gonna actually heat up leftovers from dinner last night. I made tacos. And I just did like a ground beef and bean like mixture. I think I'm just gonna do the same thing, stuff them in some taco shells. I have these really yummy ones from Siete. And just put like avocado, tomato, a little sour cream, a little lime, and dinner's done. It's already like the meat is already done, so all I have to do is like warm up the taco shells. And then maybe some pie for dessert. I feel like I've had so many sweets today. Oh, some days like all I crave is sugar and I swear ever since I've been like breastfeeding I crave sugar even more or maybe I'm just going back to my old ways because I have a huge sweet tooth so 
I just feel like today is uh, lots of sugar. I had an ice cream at my mom's too. I think I showed me eating it. I definitely can't eat that much sugar every day. I just feel like very off and sometimes like jittery from it. But once in a while, it's like not a big deal, but I'm probably gonna have like a sugar hangover tomorrow. Worth it. <laughs> Matt's gonna finish giving Seiji a bath. She chugged two bottles. So, I mean, I'll st I'm still gonna breastfeed her, but I'm gonna have to pump tonight. I'm probably gonna get questions on like why she's having a bottle and not in like a judgmental way. I just like, even me as a breastfeeding mama, sometimes I'm like, oh, like, are they on formula now? Like, what, are you having issues with breastfeeding? Like, what's going on? I could just tell that I was a little bit more emptier today, like afternoon when she was nursing. I was like, she kept switching sides and stuff. And I could just, you can like, you know the sound, you know the sensation when they're getting like enough milk. And I could just tell like, it was like, you know, the end of your juice box, there's like, and it makes that noise. I feel like she was hitting the, the end and she still wanted more so I just asked Matt like oh can you warm up some a bottle and then she chugged like four ounces and then I had Matt warm up another bottle and she didn't want it right away and then she ended up chugging that so she had like seven ounces I don't know I feel like I have to start pumping again just to help bring up my supply I had my period last week and I feel like that might have affected it because it was just like a really heavy one I think I'm gonna go back to pumping every day just to help with like my milk supply since she's like eating three solid meals plus snacks now and she's sleeping throughout the night. I don't know if it's a thing, but it's definitely affected my milk supply. So when I first noticed it around six months, I started pumping every night again. And now I all like pump just to have backup milk. Like today we used like seven ounces that I had in the freezer and I'll also add it to her food. So anyways, that's just an update on the breastfeeding journey. It's honestly, it is a journey. Every week is so different. You know, some days I feel full, like the, ne the last few, and by full, I mean like my boobs, not like my stomach. The last few mornings, I haven't felt as engorged when I woke up to feed Sage in the morning. So I already knew something was up. I was like, oh, I feel like my milk supply has dipped a bit. So maybe I'll have a cup of that mother's milk tea that I have that I haven't touched. Could do that anyways that's just my random update i don't know today's like a random day <laughs> look at those toesies look at those toes <laughs> say that since reading to Sage since she was just like a little newborn she definitely is always interested in books and I know they say like start them young and I just want to say I'm glad we did because she just is always interested in books she's doing really good now at just sitting and listening yeah daddy's reading too a little bit different of a book And I feel like reading the books also has helped extend like her attention span. Like she can actually sit and listen to the story. Okay, say goodnight, bye. Yeah. Okay. These are my tacos. So the filling, I don't know if you guys can see here. Uh, it's ground beef, black beans, and I actually added some Swiss chard from our garden. The taco shells are the Siete green free ones. They're really, really good. I think they're like cassava flour and stuff. Cassava, pumpkin seed meal, uh, psyllium husk powder. They're really, really good. And I'm also heating up some of my friend Matt's chowder. It looks so good. I actually just, I'm gonna have just a mug, just a mug of it on the side because I feel like a full bowl will be too much with these tacos. And I have tomatoes from the garden, avocado, and some sour cream on top with a little squeeze of lime. So somehow we went from a barbecue to some clam chowder, tacos, and I have a bubbly. And I'm quite happy with this mixture. I actually love eating like little bits of different foods. 
So I'm going to try. I already had a little, little taste test of this, and it's so good. Mm. I was just saying, I think clam chowder is one of my favorite soups, and I really want to make a health nut version. Would you guys be interested? Mm. Good soup. There's definitely bacon in this. Corn. I don't know if he put lobster or crab meat in here. There's something flaky. Definitely some butter and cream in here. For sure. And then for my second course, I feel like these always get so messy. Mm. It's good. Matt's eating one of his meal prep meals. And I think one taco, there was an extra one. We're just eating a mixture of stuff. That is gonna be it for today's vlog. Oh, I'm sure it's a nice 30 minute long vlog, knowing me. But thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I have food on my face. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And question of the day today, since I haven't done one in a while, what is your favorite soup? Let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. It's a free way to really help my channel out, get more people watching, and when more people thumbs up and engage with the video, YouTube rec recommends it to like more people and stuff. So it really helps the channel grow and just the HealthNet family grow. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.